Hey Guru Nation, how's it going? I got asked the question, and by the way, thank you guys so much for supporting. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share, and text me, Instagram, LinkedIn, whatever you prefer your questions. It really helps keep these pieces of content going. I know a lot of you guys requested more of these shorter videos, so here's a really short one. What's the difference between phase 1A and 1B study, and also 2A and 2B? So really quickly, you can dive deep into it on Google, but really quickly so I lead you in the right direction. When it comes to phase one, and I'm talking about healthy volunteer studies, phase 1A is establishing the maximum tolerated dose for a drug. Phase 1B is finding a safe dose for phase two. So that involves cohort expansion and all kinds of complicated things, but to keep it simple, that's the difference between phase 1A and 1B. Phase 2A and 2B, that's where things get interesting because I'm actually working my first study here in Yuma Clinical Trials is a phase 2A study. So what they're doing, they have three different dose ranges that they think, because remember, phase 2 is when it's actually done on the therapeutic condition of patients, real patients who have, have that therapeutic condition, not healthy volunteers. So from the phase 1B, they established three effective doses but there's some safety issues with, may, maybe safety issues at some of the doses. So at phase 2A, what they're doing is they're testing three cohorts on three different doses for the study drug and to see what the safety of those, uh, what the side effects are for those three cohorts. And of course, there's always efficacy data too, but phase 2B that's where they really have the dose established from phase 2A. And now they're looking at more of a long-term safety as well as efficacy uh, at that level. So think of phase 2B as almost like a mini phase 3 clinical trial. Although it's not as long, it's still going to be 8 to 52 weeks. The phase 2 studies I'm on is actually long. It's a 52-week study. Uh, and then phase 3B involves a lot more patients at the dose that was established in phase 1 and phase 2. So they're pretty f comfortable with the dose. And now they're looking at very long-term efficacy and safety assessment. So it's confusing even for someone who's been in the industry 15 years. And us who work in this industry, we kind of read these titles and kind of take it for granted. Like a study is a study. Everything's done the same. But when it comes to patients, when it comes to educating patients, I think we all need to get more educated on the different nuances between these things. So great question. Thank you so much. Keep it coming. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.